All right, YouTube, greeting slackers. September Man here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a toilet seat. Now, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because the toilet seat, and I'll show it to you when I flip it over outside, uh, from, I guess, you know, multiple sittings, you see how all this is worn out, and the toilet seat just has a really worn appearance. So, I've gotten some white Rust-Oleum 2X that I'm going to be spray painting this with so I can make it look like brand new. And that's going to save me a couple of bucks. I mean, a new toilet seat is not really all that expensive. You can go to Walmart and pick one up, which I did for backup and I'm going to take back um, because I'm going to go this route. A uh, spray paint can will cost you about six bucks. A new toilet seat can run you anywhere from 14 up to 30 bucks so I'll let you decide which route you want to go but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove your toilet seat from the toilet and so there's some bolts on the back as you can see here underneath there's some uh, nets on the back they may look like this or something else depending on the configuration of your toilet but you loosen those up and that should allow you to take out the toilet seat as a whole. Your next step is going to be to remove each individual screw from the linge head here. And, uh, did I say hinge lid? I hope I did. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to remove these screws. And once you do, that's going to go ahead and release the toilet seat from the toilet seat cover assembly then you can take that lay it on some cardboard and spray paint it which I'll be showing you coming up next all right and so right here uh, I ran into a little bit of trouble when I drilled that head out it was um, very corroded so there was just enough for me to come in with these pliers here and sort of grab the edge and just slowly turn it and um, it's coming up so that'll come out that way it doesn't damage the hole and I don't have to try to modify or Mickey Mouse this thing with putting in a new hole I can just go ahead and paint it but that's going to be what you'll have to do hopefully you have like an easy out or a left hand threaded drill bit that way you can back these out with ease should you run into this problem okay so now that we've gotten everything removed the next thing you want to remove is the bumpers that go below and they just pull right out they're plastic and these newer ones they should be plastic or it might be one that's been nailed in but you should be able to pull it right out and once that comes out clean up your surface as best you can just to you know kind of remove any high spots and you're ready to begin painting so let's get started all right one prep step before we go outside and we paint uh, in order to take down any high spots from cleanser uh, if you use like comet or ajax it's going to get into the crevices so that's going to create some high spots i don't know if you're that anal i am so i'm just going ahead and going the extra mile here and uh just cleaning up these high spots so that way when I apply my paint, it's all nice and uniform and flat. You can choose to do otherwise. Okay, so now I'm outside and you wanna use your spray paint in a well ventilated area. I'm going with some Rust-Oleum 2X paint and primer. It's flat, it's gonna be in the bathroom. I don't really need it to be shiny, but let's go ahead and hit it. I'm holding this phone with one hand and I'm trying to remove the cap with the other, but there we go.
I may not be the best spray painter. For those of you out there who tag. But I think this is a good enough job. Go around it. So basically you just want to go all around it, give it a nice good coating, and then let it sit outside for a minute. I'll come back out there, drive, hit it again, flip it over, hit the underside, and then we'll take it back in. It's ready to go. Alright, so I got both sides of the toilet seat painted. I'm gonna take this back in. It's looking really nice. Clean on both sides, and so we're basically just gonna put everything back in. And I'll show you the before and after, so you can see it. Oh baby, that is looking so much better than it was looking before. Remember all those spots? They are gone. So now we're just putting everything back in place and uh, we'll be done with this little project. DIY is cheap, you can do it yourself for about seven bucks. And it only takes about maybe an hour of your time. All right, so we got everything buttoned back up. We got the lid painted, as you can see there. And we have the toilet seat painted, so that's good. We put all new screws back in because the others were corroded from years of cleaning. So you can uh, go up to like Lowe's like I did. I paid probably like 60 cents for some little wood screws, matched them with the one of them that I pulled out of here, and uh, everything fit. So, that's good. Job well done. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Hopefully you take care of this and uh, it's easy enough that you can do it yourself.